Now, my next guests say don't fear a faster taper as it doesn't necessarily mean the Fed is going to be less accommodative. Joining me now uh, with how to play it are Mark Avalone, president of Potomac Wealth Advisors, and Marianne Montaigne, portfolio manager at Gradient Investments. Welcome to both of you. Uh, Mark, uh, accommodative in what way? Well, a taper, they're, they're, they're withdrawing this huge stimulus, the bond buying program, but that's a long way off from raising rates. Global rates are nowhere near positive in many developed countries. Global growth is going to be, is going to struggle with the same issues that they faced pre-COVID. Europe hasn't solved their problem. The excessive regulation, the aging populations, Japan, the same problems over there. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves by thinking that the global economy is going to be roaring. We don't operate in a vacuum. So I think we will finish the taper and then there'll be a pause before there's any Fed action. I think the bond market is telling us that. And I think that's another reason why tech stocks have done well. Huh. Marianne, though, I, I wonder, kind of piggybacking off that last conversation that Steve and Bob and I were just having, th things are so far from normal, especially with the amount of volume that retail investors have in this market, the amount of options trading, the, the amount of trading on margin, that uh, as things, as conditions change, I'm not sure uh, how volatile the market is going to be in response to that. What do you think? Well, first of all, there's no such thing as normal. I've been around a long time, and there's always excesses here and excesses there, and we're just noting some of them, as you said, John. Uh, but what I think is that um, with that, uh, and I agree with Mark, uh, there's not a decision to raise rates, uh, but given the specter of another COVID mutation, investors have been moving to quality across the board, and, uh, you know, that's driving up the price of bonds and driving down yields on the benchmark 10 year at least. Um, we think that trading in the last few days may be part of a year end window dressing as losses were taken in small cap software stocks, particularly. And uh, in the movement toward quality, I, I think what most people don't realize is that Apple, which this morning I heard compared to a bond for some odd reason, <laughs> uh, with its 30 multiple on next year's earnings and slowing growth next year, uh, what people don't realize, it's, it's now a larger percentage of the S&P than the staples sector, the energy sector, real estate and utility sectors. Uh, that's way beyond normal. That's, that's way out there. Well, um, but, you know, there's caveats to everything, including the Fed's decision about the Omicron variant and treatments, too, in the coming days. And so we still believe the health of the economy depends on the health of the population.